Hi, so I'm working in my home studio and I've just uh, put together my own armature. So this armature is simply a piece of wood and then I bought this uh, pipe fitting, uh, screwed it onto the piece of wood and then bought a pipe that's the same size. This one I think is half inch and I can simply screw it into there. This is pretty simple. Um, it's just gonna help me with my uh, vertical weight. If I wanted to, I've got space that I could either screw something onto here to get like a right angle for uh, say like a horse's face, or I could put something in there like some uh, thinner wire that I could bend and hold things up. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here. And then I've got a bag of bags here and I'm gonna cover the pipe. A couple of reasons for this. One is um, I can build up a little bit more mass on the inside so that when I put the clay on, I don't have to fill it. Uh, I, I don't have to use quite as much clay. Um, but then the other being that when I go to take it off of here, I can, uh, like the bag will slide off um, of the pipe and then I can pull the pipe out and peel the bags off. Uh, that is particularly useful when you have like a, a part at the top that's kind of bigger um, because it's hard to, it, it'll kind of get stuck on the right angle. My piece is going to slide right off the top because the only armature support I have is this narrow part. So I have the one bag over the top of here. I have the paper taped down and then I've wrapped, I've just kind of folded and taped a piece of plastic on here. I don't like to tape it right to the armature because then I have to rip the tape to get it off at the end. Um, but this just slides right on and off. So that's kind of uh, where I'm anticipating the head is gonna be. Um, and then I've got another bag here that I can slide right over and I've got some stuffing, uh, just another, you know, some trash uh, plastic that I can stuff down here to start to be kind of the back side that's gonna be a little thicker. So the head and then the back side coming out there, I can get these. Uh, straps of the bag kind of tucked in and what I'm doing is I'm referencing I've got some pictures here so I can start to kind of visualize the mass of where stuff is going to be when I put this together so I can decide if I want more or less stuffing. Um, I may stop about now or I may put in uh, one more piece of plastic kind of inside there a little bit higher uh, just so again that I don't have to add quite as much clay later on. Um, I do find that having it kind of tucked in uh, helps for it to not kind of have little bits of the plastic, like the handles and stuff, sticking out every which way. Um, I could maybe do a little bit more, but uh, I don't want to get too much plastic because if I get too much plastic and then decide later to cut into it, like push deeper into the clay, um, I've got the plastic in the way and I can't go any thinner or I, I rip into a hole or have a hole in the side of the armature. My next step is I'm gonna add some clay. I'm attaching clay, big pieces of clay, onto the armature. And uh, my first goal is just to get the whole armature covered. So I'm simply, I'm using boxed clay. If I had, uh, uh, if I had enough recycled clay, I would use that. Um, and I'm simply, uh, you know, kind of cutting some slabs off of here. I want to get the whole armature covered and I want to cover it um, with fairly thick pieces of clay. There the paper started to fold up and so I took the time to put it down there. It, it would burn away, it's not that big of a deal, but it might get in my way later when I'm trying to do a texture um, or something like that. I am simply adding chunks of clay, like I mentioned, um, onto the outside of this armature. It's nice to have some paddles around um, because that will quickly allow me to make adjustments to that shape. I've used just a cutoff wire to cut myself some chunks of, of this clay, this nice wet clay. Um, and I'm not scoring and slipping at this point because my goal is just to get things attached onto here. Um, if I'm feeling comfortable about my balance on both the, the base, the armature, and my banding wheel, which is what this is spinning on, I could toss this onto here. I'm sitting down to be visible for the camera, so it's a little awkward, but I can slam it onto there to make sure that it's well attached. I'm going to continue doing this and just using my paddles, my tools, uh, my, my paddles, my uh, hands, 
uh, to make sure that this clay is on here and covered. And you can tell to begin, it doesn't look anything like what I'm after. I'm just trying to get things covered um, sort of the easiest way possible without wearing myself out uh, as I go to, to put this onto here. I've got some holes still, um, and I'm gonna make sure those get covered before I move on to the next steps.